just look at what you're seeing in front of you. This is one of these things that you honestly potentially wouldn't expect to see for potentially years to come. And that's why we're so excited about it. The idea behind NYX is that you can just see through. You're essentially looking at uh, a, another world. Think of it as a viewport into another world. Uh, it's all about content. Uh, it's all about what you need. It's not about the device itself. Uh, and that's NYX with our edgeless design. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, Mix uh, is a 6.4 inch display phone. It doesn't feel that big actually uh, because it's all screen, but it's 6.4 inches. And uh, I'm gonna show it to you in a little bit, but I wanna first talk about materials. Uh, one of the things that we really wanted to do with Mix is take our best materials uh, to a new level. We started uh, working with 3D Ceramic uh, earlier this year when we launched Mi 5 Pro. It's our first device with uh, a ceramic body. It's the world's first curved ceramic body uh, that was Mi 5 Pro. Well, we've taken uh, what we learned with Mi 5 uh, to the new level with a full ceramic body on Mix. Full ceramic body, uh, including the back cover, including the frame, uh, including uh, all of the buttons. It's a full, full ceramic body. And again, this is what it looks like. Super gorgeous, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here it is from another angle. You guys can admire these shots. I want to make sure that these are full screen, full screen guys. Uh, look at it. Pretty awesome, right? Yeah. Edgeless design. This is what it looks like from the side, uh, full ceramic body. Uh, this is the rear. Absolutely beautiful edgeless design. Uh, and I thought I could do a live unbox. What do you guys think? Yeah. Should we do a live unbox? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, um, so here we have, um, uh, this is the Mix box. And it says over here, uh, Mix Designed by Me. Uh, so it's a beautiful product. Um, me logo over here. Um, kind of cool, huh? 256 gigabytes right there. So uh, let's go ahead and unbox it. Um, so let's slide it out. You see the me logo right there in gold. It's an embossed logo. Um, so I'm opening it right here. Cool, right? Yeah. Now look at this. Wow. Look at this. Wow. Right? Sweet. I'm going to do it again. Baby. Look at this. You like it, Tate? Yeah. All right. Look at that. Whoa. Right, so, um, so you've got the phone. Uh, here you've got um, the leather um, cover which, uh, or the leather uh, case. Uh, and then, uh, you know, manual, charger, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm going to go ahead uh, and take these guys out. So this is the leather cover. I'm going to set it over here. Uh, and uh, here's the phone. Um, I have previously unboxed it, so I removed the... Uh, little ear that allows me to pull it out easily. So I'm just going to have to do a little poke there. <laughs> All right. Um, hear that? Ooh. Uh, yeah. Little details. That's a magnet um, screen. All right. So here uh, we have it, guys. Uh, this is Mi Mix. <laughs> of course, I haven't turned it on yet because I want to show you how beautiful the body and this product is. So you see right there, it says Mi or Mix designed by me. So this is a full uh, body ceramic device uh, on the back, also on the sides, uh, on the top. Uh, it's all made of ceramic. Uh, ceramic is basically the hardest, least scratchable material that you can come up with uh, for, for phones, for bodies. Uh, it, it scores an eight uh, in the uh, Moss scale. Uh, glass is like a six. And of course, if you want to go higher, you're going to start to get into crazy materials territory all the way up to diamond, which is a 10. Um, so ceramic body gives you a uh, beautiful texture. It gives you an uh, incredibly non-scratchable uh, surface, uh, and it just looks uh, really fantastic. And right? it's a beautiful, beautiful device. Now, are you ready for this? Yeah. Yes. You ready for this? Turn it on! Turn it on! Ooh. Wow. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? So this is mixed with its uh, edgeless design. Uh, you can see here, uh, the screen really goes all the way up to the top, all the way to the sides. Um, and the only thing that you have here at the bottom is this really, really kind of thin, discreet little chin. 
Uh, it's there essentially to house a camera, which I'll talk to you guys in a second. Uh, but the beautiful thing here is that what you're looking at is this incredible edgeless design. Uh, this is something that, I mean, I think I was even reading about some articles today already. This is what people uh, think would come out of their wildest dreams, right? This is something that the world just hasn't seen before. Uh, and it's absolutely stunning. And I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how we are able to achieve uh, this incredible, uh, incredible design. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to talk about where a lot of the inspiration here comes from. Um, many of you have already heard of Mr. Philip Stark, uh, one of the most well-known designers in the world. Um, Philip is obviously uh, an incredibly capable industrial designer who's uh, responsible for some of the biggest breakthroughs in design uh, in a lot of different fields, uh, including uh, you know, home appliances, furniture, his design boats, his design planes, he's designed so many different things. Uh, and he chose to work with Xiaomi uh, on something that he had not yet done, which was to design a phone. And we've been working with him for over two years now. This product has been in the making for a very long time. And he was the first person who challenged us to do something that we, even ourselves, previously thought to be impossible, which was to try and just get rid of all that stuff. Um, so uh, we're incredibly excited to have partnered uh, with Philip Stark uh, to get Nemix uh, to the world. Uh, he was on stage with us today and we're really excited about this partnership. So um, obviously it starts with what you see here. Um, we had to get rid of a bunch of different things. Everything that you'd find on a normal phone uh, on a normal smartphone, even the latest and greatest smartphone, uh, the earpiece, the receiver that you make calls with, uh, the proximity sensor, uh, and the front camera. How do you get all those things out of the way? Well, um, I'll explain that to you guys, uh, and I'll talk about each one of these. First of all, how do you listen to a phone call without uh, an earpiece speaker? Well, uh, obviously, we had to work on this for a long time. This was one of the hardest pieces. But we were able uh, to reach uh, an amazing result with uh, this technology, uh, which is a cantilever piezoelectric ceramic driver. Uh, it basically translates electric signals to mechanical waves, of course, but these are mechanical waves that can actually travel through the ceramic body, uh, and you can actually listen um, to your call that way. It's obviously hidden behind the display, um, so there's no actual opening, but it travels through the ceramic body and that's a piezoelectric ceramics driver. Um, so that allows you to listen to a call. Uh, the call still sounds very natural. You can hear high frequencies, you can hear low frequencies, uh, and the person who's next to you obviously can't hear the call. Um, so it works um, uh, quite brilliantly, and you obviously can't see anything. Um, the uh, second uh, uh, technology that we had to replace was the proximity sensor. What's the proximity sensor or a prox sensor as we like to call it in the industry? Well, it's the infrared sensor that detects when the phone is close enough to your face and to your cheeks that the screen should be dimmed. Otherwise, you might hang up or you know, start dialing tones into the call and that's very uncomfortable. Uh, it's also uncomfortable for your eye if there's a bright display lit right next to your face. So the prox sensor just detects that and then dims out or shuts off the screen when you're on the phone. Uh, if you don't have an opening, you can't have an infrared sensor, right? To be clear, infrared is light. Um, so what we've done is we've used a, a new technology, uh, which we have, in fact, used recently. If you guys have been uh, tuned in to our latest innovations, you'll have heard of the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor on Mi 5S, which we just announced a few weeks back. On the Mi 5S, uh, it allows you, you can, it reads your fingerprint through the glass using ultrasonic technology. What we're doing here is somewhat similar in that we're detecting proximity using ultrasonic uh, technology, but we're not only going through the glass, we're going through the entire display, right? So it's another level, if you will, but similar technology so that usually by just um, uh, sending you know, ultra, ultrasonic waves through the glass, through uh, the display, and seeing what bounces back, it can detect whether or not your face is close enough to the glass, and then it can shut off the display. So that's uh, our ultrasonic proximity sensor, uh, and uh, it works pretty well. The next question is, what would you do with the front camera? Well, one question would be to just get rid of it, but then that wouldn't be a phone, right? I mean, you, a smartphone without a selfie camera, that doesn't really make any sense. So what we did was, um, 
we took it away from the top and we moved it all the way down here. Uh, we're using a special uh, sensor here that is 50%, uh, the module that's 50% smaller uh, than uh, the module on a regular, the front camera module on a regular phone, and it's tucked away right there on, on the corner. So uh, it still obviously faces forward. It allows you to take uh, selfies. Um, so you just look at the camera. Um, so you can see our studio here. Uh, of course, that's on the bottom. If you want it in the top, you can just rotate the phone. The whole UI rotates. Oh. Pretty cool, right? Wow. Very simple solution in the camera. The selfie camera is right back on top, right? So, and then when you're done, of course, you can just rotate it back. Uh, so that's uh, the camera. Um, and uh, I just give you, gave you a demo here. Um, now, I want to uh, talk about a few more things here. Uh, first of all, uh, to achieve uh, this display, this edgeless uh, display design that you guys have seen here, we had to make quite a few tweaks. So we had to order and create a custom display uh, that was rounded on the corners here because if we use the, a regular display with a square, uh, a square corner, obviously it wouldn't allow us to have uh, these thin bezels. So uh, we're using a rounded display here, which is custom made just for us. And that allows us to come all the way uh, to, the, to the end here with very, very thin uh, bezels that give, you, that give us really, really high uh, screen to body ratio. Um, we also made a decision, uh, and this has to do with basic ergonomics. Uh, most mobile phone displays are 16 by 9. Uh, and 16 by 9 is actually a pretty good aspect ratio. Uh, and it is so because you have that enormous forehead and you have a chin as well. So the phone feels kind of nice. Um, but when we cut away the forehead and we made the chin uh, much, much shorter, if we kept the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it would actually feel kind of weird. It would look a bit square-like, um, and we don't think that that's a nice thing. So we made the screen even longer to give you a 17 by 9 uh, aspect ratio. Uh, it's still uh, obviously perfectly uh, Android compatible because we have the soft keys, the usable area is 16 by 9 still, but it's a really beautiful 17 by 9 display. And I want to show you how this works. So uh, obviously this is the standard look, uh, and you can see how I have the soft keys at the bottom. This is, by the way, the very first um, uh, Mi phone that uses soft keys, uh, something that our fans have been asking for a long time. Right, guys? Uh, Bobby's saying, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, um, uh, but, you know, we thought, well, if they're soft keys, maybe you don't want them. Maybe you want to tuck them away. So uh, we're using an innovation from UI 8 to solve this problem. Uh, and I know that our fans in India remember this quite well. It's called QuickBall. So QuickBall can now be activated from the soft key uh, a little area over there. So quick ball is right here, right? This is used so that you can navigate around. It's uh, done for navigation, not just for accessibility. And you could see that when uh, I turned on quick ball, my soft keys went away. If I want the back, all I have to do is slide up and oh, they're back. Cool. That's so cool. And I can control quick ball from here. <laughs> you like it, Danny? Yeah. Um, so it's really, really simple to use, right? So that is a way of just really maximizing that gorgeous display uh, with quick ball 17 by 9 aspect ratio. So this looks really fantastic. <laughs> and that's the slide explaining the demo that I just gave you. So what we're doing here is we're literally exploring new frontiers in technology to create this edgeless design. It wasn't, it's not about just a display or just one or another component. It's actually all of these things working together. Uh, it's a ceramic acoustic system, uh, which is, of course, that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, proximity sensor uh, and the, uh, the cantilever uh, piezoelectric earpiece or, or driver, uh, working with the prox sensor that's ultrasonic, a very compact front camera that we moved down to the bottom of the device, around the display, and then 16, 17 by 9 aspect ratio for the panel. All of these things uh, put together give you a beautiful, elegantly designed, real edgeless design, which the world hadn't seen until today. So to sum it up here for you guys, uh, and then I want to take a few questions also. Um, Mimix, Mimix uh, coming out today. If you guys just joined us, you're catching just the tail end here of our Facebook live stream. You can go back later and watch it. Go to the Me Global page or go to my personal Facebook page and you can replay it. Uh, we just announced our revolutionary edgeless design concept phone called Mix. 
6.4 inch edgeless design really does not feel like 6.4 inch full ceramic body snapdragon 821 also clocked at 2.35 gigahertz that's the performance version of snapdragon 821 uh, starts at 4 plus 120 gigs of memory but we have a version that goes an even higher level than that which i'll talk about in a bit 16 megapixel uh, rear camera supports hd audio gps um, uh, uh, high precision and SAP and a very large battery 4400 milliamp hours with quick charge 3.0 so this is an incredible incredible package and um, I also want to talk about a special version uh, of uh, Mi Mix if that wasn't already special enough yeah, yeah. so um, that's what we call Mi Mix 18k 18k stands for 18 carats and that's because of a really unique design um, a little tweak that we made so if you look right here hopefully you can see that um, from from the camera over there guys um, we've added real 18 karat gold uh, trims uh, around the front of the rear camera here and the fingerprint sensor it's a really really incredibly small but meaningful detail um, that goes really beautifully with a ceramic body um, and uh, that's 18 karat gold. Then this version uh, of uh, Mix, Mix 18K, ships uh, with 6 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of flash UFS 2.0 storage. It's the first time, wow. first time we've shipped a phone with 256 gigs uh, of RAM. Uh, we thought you guys would enjoy that. Um, so that's the Mix 18K that you're looking at over here. Uh, we're also shipping, uh, this is default with a product, a beautiful real leather case. This is a mix leather case. Uh, it's beautiful leather, smells like leather, really for real. Um, it's, um, it's beautiful and it, it's only appropriate, right? And it's kind of like you have a screen inside uh, your, your protector case. It's basically a screen. That's what it looks like, right? When, so pretty awesome, right? Pretty cool. It actually, it, it, you kind of want to do this because you feel like you're just carrying a screen with you, right? You kind of want to protect it. Um, even though the ceramic body is one of the hardest surfaces that we could come up with in phone design. Um, and this is, if, you're gonna, if you want to geek out, these are all of the specs here. Uh, all of these details, details are already posted on my Facebook page. Just check it out. Uh, everything, every single thing is on there. Um, and more beautiful shots for you guys to look at here. Of course, uh, this is a concept phone, but we want our fans to have it. So we're making it available starting next week um, here in China only uh, for $34.99 for the 4128 version and $39.99 for the 6256 version. This is a pretty incredible price. Of course, one of the most beautiful pieces of technology that we've ever seen. Certainly the product that we're the proudest of anything we've ever made in six and a half years uh, of being around as a company. We're really, really, really proud of this. Um, and we're about to clock in uh, one hour here. Uh, since I only gave ourselves one hour, I'm going to invite my co-host uh, 